you may currently use a variety of notes apps, to-do lists, and project management tools to stay on top of your work and personal life. But imagine if there was one app to do it all. Today's video is sponsored by Xtiles, an all-in-one productivity app that lets you write your notes, check off your reminders, update your calendar, and manage your ongoing projects all in one place. I'm going to be giving you my full, honest review of this app, including its features and uses, drawbacks, pricing, and my overall conclusion. So let's get straight into it. What's up guys, this is Shiv, and welcome back to another video. Kicking off with the homepage, the toolbar along the top gives you a lot of functionality. Inbox is where you can add quick notes and see items added from the Xtiles app or Chrome extension. Tasks is a central location where you'll see all the tasks you've added in your projects. So it's great for seeing an overview of your to-do list. You can also add new reminders here in which you can add locations, assign your tasks to other users and add due dates. Calendar is similar to tasks in the sense that it shows all your projects, events and tasks in this view. Then lastly, you've got the notifications tab. Down the left is where you see your workspaces. So I've created personal, work and finance workspaces to keep these projects and notes all separate. In my personal workspace, I can create a new project from the top right or continue to work on my existing projects. If we go into my New York trip plan, you'll note that each element inside the project is set up as a tile and these can have a number of different formats. Some are checklists like my daily itineraries. You can have embedded links like the map of New York and my New York travel guide, which you can find in the description below and tables to calculate a budget for the trip. Creating a new tile is really easy too. You just need to click and drag the size you want and it then gives you options on what format this tile should be, which includes a simple note, image, task, or table. Alternatively, you can choose from the menu on the left. Each tile is also highly customizable, so you can choose the design of each tile and pressing forward slash gives you a load of different command options as well. I particularly like the embed option, which lets you paste any link into the project, making it fully interactive. You can see I've included an embedded link to Google Maps, but you can even add links to spreadsheets or even Spotify playlists into these embedded tiles, making them really powerful. For now though, I'll add an embedded tile which shows a video on the best pizza spots in New York. What I really like about Xtiles is how simple it is to use and the fact that there isn't much of a learning curve as compared to other project management apps like Notion, which I find need a lot of time and effort to learn and navigate effectively. Another great feature is that when you click in the top right of a tile, you can add it to a collection. You'll see that I already have a food spots collection, so I'll add the video to this. You can access all your food spots added to this collection by the tabs along the top. To make it simpler, you can think of collections as tags that have been grouped together in one place. Pressing the plus button lets you add a new collection, and there are four views you can choose from. Gallery, board, calendar, and table. Gallery lets me add items displayed in these big tiles, so it's great if you're a visual person and want a mood board set up. For example, I can click on add collection card and type Grand Central Station. Then I have the option to add properties so I can add a date, so 13th of April, and a URL so I can paste in the Google Maps location. Then what's great is if I want to add an image, I can press forward slash, which brings up loads of commands to choose from, press image, and search for Grand Central Station. And because Xtiles has incorporated Unsplash into its app, you'll get great looking images that are ready to add to your project. The board format shows you your information in columns, making it really easy to list down and navigate large collections of information. And it reminds me of the column view in the Apple Reminders app, which I really like. The calendar view is obviously very helpful because it easily lets you visualize your events. And in this case, your holiday itinerary and what you're doing each day. What's great about collections is that it allows your project to start behaving like a website with links to different collections letting you navigate to different parts of your project really easily. I've created a collection in table view named day one and included my itinerary for that day. And I can now link this collection to the day one tile I have on my first page. So if I click to the left of Times Square, select add to collection and then day one, this adds Times Square to my table which I can move to the top and write 12 o'clock next to it. Now, if I go back to my first screen, you'll see that this has been linked to the collections page and I can simply click on day one to access it, just like a website. 
This lets me have an overview of my itinerary on the first page and access a more detailed day one itinerary when I click into the collection. You can see that even within this collection, I have the option to add even more tabs, giving me so many options to customize and tailor my project to exactly how I need it. As I mentioned, you can choose from a variety of templates to create your projects that are available on the free and paid plans. I think the weekly planner, trip planner, and budget tracker are the most useful for me personally, but there are templates to do with marketing, sales, meetings, and project management. So the options you have to create projects for your personal and work life are really diverse. It's also worth mentioning that Xtiles has iOS and Android apps so that you can access your projects from anywhere. So you will always have those important travel itineraries, shopping lists, or meeting notes to hand at all times. Having used Xtiles for a couple of weeks, I would say it has two main negatives, which are by no means deal breakers, but just points to be wary of when deciding whether or not to sign up. The first drawback I noticed about Xtiles is its inability to handle graphs. I think it would have been useful to be able to add graphs to your projects using the data input into tables to be able to track progress of a project, monthly sales, or even habit tracking, but this feature doesn't exist. So one piece of advice would be that if you do anticipate needing a graph in your projects, the Nextels may not be the best productivity app for you to use. This isn't a big issue for me personally, as I wouldn't really use this app for data, but more for organizing my day-to-day -day tasks, planning videos, and creating holiday itineraries. The second drawback is the Xtiles app. Whilst it's well-designed, the app is a little slow and does glitch slightly when moving from one screen to the next, and it also doesn't support the ability to add new tiles to your projects from your phone. Whilst it does let you view your existing projects really easily and intuitively, which is a big positive, and edit existing tiles, it would have been nice to have the ability to add more tiles if needed. You can, however, add items into your inbox, which automatically gets synced to your desktop app, and add new notes and tasks from the home screen very easily. So the app becomes more of a note-taking and reminder app rather than a project management app, when being used on the phone. So having spoken about the features and drawbacks of Xtiles, let's move on to the simple sign up process. Just select sign up in the top right of the homepage and enter your email and password. Once you've verified your email address, you'll be brought to this screen, which asks you a few questions to help customize your experience. And once you've gone through those questions, you've completed the sign up process. The great thing about Xtiles is that it's completely free to use the most basic plan. So with the free plan, you get access to three workspaces and an unlimited number of projects. So this is ideal for individuals looking to organize their day-to-day -day routine, improve their personal productivity, or combine note-taking, tasks, and calendar all into one app. If you're looking to upgrade your plan, the next option is Plus, which you can pay for monthly or annually. And this is great if you want access to premium templates, Google Calendar integration, or a more collaborative workspace for a team of people. If you want to sign up for the Plus monthly membership, make sure to use the code SHIV at checkout to get 25% off your first year. If you consider the amount of functionality you're getting in one app, I think that's an awesome deal. So let me know what you think about the app. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.